In today's video, we're going to go over the only way currently for you to get a shiny Zoroark and Zoroark in your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. With the release of the brand new DLCs for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc, we now have the opportunity to pre-order these games. And as a bonus, on top of pre-ordering these DLCs right now, you'll get a bonus code for a Hisuian Zorua that you can get in your games right now without having to wait until we get that Pokemon Home compatibility with Scarlet and Violet. So to get this in your game, you're going to have to firstly make sure you've updated your copy of Scarlet and Violet onto the latest update, which is 1.2.0. You can check if you've updated to the correct version by going into your home menu and then clicking the plus icon on your controller and this will bring up this menu screen which will show you what version of the game you're on. If you're on 1.2.0, you're on the latest version. Now when you come back into game after updating to 1.2.0, you'll now see an icon whenever you go into your menu screen. This icon will be the hidden treasures of area zero. Now if you click down on this, it will take you to the eShop. It will save your game and then you go over to the eShop where you can purchase this DLC for $31.49 if you're in the UK and I think $34.99 if you are in the US. So if you do get this, this is for both the teal mask and the indigo disc. Like I say, once you've purchased this in your game, you'll then get given a special mystery gift code at the end of your checkout. This will also be emailed to you. So if you do skip over the screen, don't worry about it. You will be emailed a copy of this code as well. And then when you've got this code, you want to just come into your mystery gifts and get with code or password. Put this code in and you'll be sent a mystery gift of a Hisuian Zoroark, which is currently the only way to get it in the game because Pokemon Home compatibility isn't launched yet. The Zoroark itself will come in a Cherish Ball, so it's pretty unique. And it will also have the unique move Happy Hour, which it otherwise can't get. This just doubles money in battles if you use it. And it will also have the Charismatic Mark, which is a really nice touch for this mystery gift Pokemon. On top of this, another bonus for pre-ordering the DLCs, you'll get a bunch of new uniforms. You'll get the new Spring Uniform, Summer Uniform, Winter Uniform, and then you'll get a bunch of hat, backpack and gloves that you'll be able to put onto your character and kind of change things up from the current clothing that we do have in games, which is not very much. Now, essentially, this is probably the most expensive mystery gift that you're going to get in your games. But if you do want to get the DLCs, this is just a bonus on top of this already. Now, as this is the only way to get Hisui and Zoroa and Zoroark in your games at the minute, there is only going to be one way for you to shiny hunt and that is by breeding it hatching eggs and hoping that you get the shiny now firstly if you're wanting to shiny hunt shiny zoroa to get a shiny zoroark then you are going to need a ditto and obviously the zoroark that you've just got from the dlc bonus ideally you want to have a foreign ditto because you want to be using masuda method to kind of maximize the shiny odds that you have for getting this shiny and with a foreign ditto that would classify as the masuda method breeding mechanic giving you one in 683 chance of getting a shiny without the shiny charm obviously with the shiny charm that will increase now to get a foreign ditto all you're going to need is to catch a ditto in your game you can then use the link trade system using a unique code of 448448 to trade with other players around the world who will then hopefully trade you a foreign ditto for the one that you've caught in your game this will then allow you access to that foreign ditto and then make it possible for you to implement the masuda method when breeding this hisuian Zoroark. Now, once you've got your Ditto and your Zoroark, the next thing that you're going to want to do is either put a Destiny Knot on your Ditto or Zoroark. So if there's any best IVs there that you want to have them passed down, they'll be passed down to the baby Pokemon. And the other thing that you're going to have to remember to do is put an Everstone on your Hisuian Zoroark. If you don't, then you're just going to breed regular Zoroarks and not the Hisuian version. So by putting the Everstone on it and breeding with that Everstone attached, it will mean that you'll get Hisuian Zoroark. Yeah. 
that are hatching from the eggs and not just regular Zoroa. It's also worth pointing out if you are wanting to shiny hunt the Hisui and Zoroa and Zoroa King game, you can actually get it in a special Pokeball. So the Zoroa that you get from the event comes in a Cherish Ball, but whenever you breed that down, it will always revert to a Pokeball because the Cherish Ball can't be bred down. But you can in fact get the Hisui and Zoroa and Zoroa in any special Pokeball, Apricorn Ball or whatever Pokeball you would like to get it in by doing this method. Now the first thing you're going to want to do to do this method is head to the West Province Area 3. This is where the Pokemon Zoroa will spawn. Now you're going to want to come to this area and find yourself a Wild Zoroa and obviously to discover the Zoroa because it is going to use that illusion ability to mimic another Pokemon. They're not going to just appear just in the wild. ZL trigger on your controller and that will show you what the Pokemon is. It will give it the name and the level above the Pokemon and if it is a Zoroa it will show up as that as its name rather than the Pokemon that it's kind of impersonating. So as you can see here we come across one finally. Now the first step here is to make sure you drop a save before you go in and battle it especially if you're catching it in an Apricorn Ball the chances of you getting it first time are very low. So if you do fail to catch it and you use the worn ball that you've got, at least you can reset your game and then come back and try it and catch it again. So once you go into the battle, have a false swipe user as well. That is going to be useful to get it down to one HP. Then throw your special Pokeball at it. For this one, we are throwing a Moon Ball. And you can see that we do have to try it a few times, but we eventually get it in the Moon Ball. So that's part one of this process. And just make sure that the Zoroa that you're catching in the wild in this special Pokeball is a male gender. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is have a female Hisuian Zoroa. So you get this and put it in your party. Make sure that this Pokemon is holding the Everstone. Then you just want to set up a picnic with both of these Pokemon and by doing it you will have a 50% chance of the eggs that are spawned having one of the two Pokeballs from the parenting Pokemon, either the Pokeball from the Hisuian Zora that you've got in your party or the regular Zora which is holding the Moon Ball. You want to just breed eggs until you get that Hisuian Zora in the Moon Ball or whatever special Pokeball that you desire and then you can move on and go for the shiny in that particular special Pokeball. Then when you've done all of that you're ready to go head to Alfranada Town and then you want to take a left down the main street and head to this restaurant here and when you come to the restaurant you're going to want to come and buy a dish called Compote du Fils and this dish will give you egg power level 2. Now this is just going to expedite or speed up the amount of eggs that you're going to get when you set up a picnic. Once you've bought that, as you can see here, we've got that egg power level two. We can then go and set up a picnic with just the Zoroark and the Ditto in our parties. Make sure again that the Zoroark is holding the Everstone. And the next step is pretty easy. You just have to wait for the eggs to appear in the picnic basket and just wait until you've got a bunch of them. And then when you've got a couple of boxes full, you can set down your picnic. Remember that you've only got half an hour on that egg power level two before it does expire and the rate of the eggs appearing in the basket will slow down. So you might want to just do half an hour of the eggs popping up in your basket, collecting them and then take down your picnic, put the eggs into your party. Make sure you've got a flame body user. Volcarona is a great one. Carcol, another one. There are a bunch of Pokemon, even Fletchinder and Talonflame all have the flame body ability. That's going to cut down the number of steps by 50% that these eggs are gonna be required to hatch. So I'll put that at the top of your party, put the eggs in and then start running around hatching these eggs. And if you do this over and over and over again, you've got really good odds. Like I say, if you're using the Masuda method, one in 683, pretty good odds. And if you've got the shiny charm on top of that, you've got increased odds of one in 512. So really good odds of getting a shiny egg pretty quickly using this method. And once you've hatched all the eggs that you've got from that first batch, just go back to the restaurant, get the meal again that gives you that egg power level two set your picnic up once again make sure you've got your ditto on your zoroark in your party the only two that you need get those eggs again and just rinse and repeat until you do get that shiny and as you can see here it did take us a long time to get this shiny zoroark but we finally get it and so worthwhile and with Pokemon Home kind of compatibility not looking likely for at least a couple of weeks on the horizon, if not maybe a month or so away. It's worth grabbing this now so I can use it in game, but it's probably one of my all time favorite shinies that we've got in the whole Pokeverse. So I was really
really keen to get this one. I do have the shiny versions from Pokemon Legends Arceus that I can trade in, but I was really keen to get it in game. But that is how you get yourself Hisuian Zoroark and Zoroark and a shiny version of these Hisuian exclusive Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet right now. I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, please drop a like. It really does go a long way to help out the channel and do subscribe so you don't miss any more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content here as we put it out. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. More importantly than anything, take care of yourselves and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.